This is a teardown of a Linksys wireless in gigabit router, WRT310N. And I already see a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to tear this down. Oh, that might work. <laughs> it's not the right tool for the job, but it's the right tool to do the job. Oh no, maybe not on this one though. I don't know why, but they just had to be a pain and use security torques. You don't see that that often on this uh, consumer level stuff that's basically throw away. There's no safety risk of opening this up that I'm aware of. So I don't know what they're trying to do. Really, it's just pointless, especially now with the. Um, at least it sounds like 3D metal printing might get to the point where it's consumer viable. <laughs> just, just print my own bits. Alright, let's see if we can get this open now. Oh, it snaps together. Nope. Unfortunately, despite being gigabit, it's just not worth saving. Also, it looks like I have a capacitor that's starting to fail. It's not leaking, but it's uh, definitely bulged. So, yeah. Not as nice as their old WRT54G stuff when it comes to teardown. This uh, snapped together and it's just one screw. <laughs> No security screws. Oh, there's a heat sink on the main processor and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it without getting stabbed by my screwdriver. Let's see if we can do it through the camera. Yeah, it's adhesived on and I'm cracking the die. Which is weird because it should be plastic. Why is it snapping? Hmm. I don't have a big enough screwdriver on hand at the moment, but we'll see if this will work. Nope, I need a bigger screwdriver than that. I'm going to break this one. I can feel it bending. Let's try this. Nope, that won't work. Well, I do not think... Oh, that's not even an adhesive pad. That's full on. I think that's full on thermal epoxy. Oh well. We got some Broadcom chips here though. And then uh, upside down uh, Hynix memory chip, it looks like. Metal can just has whatever wireless components this has in it, probably. Let's see here. Might be able to pry that off. I would assume it's just going to be Broadcom under here as well, if there's any chips. Yep. It's usually either Broadcom or Atheros, but since there's already Broadcom stuff in there. Let's get this one right with the world. I don't think we've seen that one the right way up. Maybe we can get it in the right light. But, uh... Yeah, not much to see. The antennas are soldered on, so no user serviceability there. That looks like some copper shielding for the wireless section. And then that must be the flash memory for the operating system. Eon. <laughs> and just your usual passives as well. So, yep, nothing too special to see there, but hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.